Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pastor Zainab again. Today, this conversation is going to change your life. I just happened to meet Faima, who was a Muslim, and now she's a Christian. And nobody led her actually to Christ, like the way you just go and hear a crusade or come to church. It happened later. But she will tell us her story. Her story is very deep. There is life after death. And the Lord is the one who took Faima took her to hell and took her to heaven and this is our story and it is going to change your life. Karibu Faima and introduce yourself and please take us through your story. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you even my mom. Thank you uh, uh, my sister for giving even me uh, this opportunity to share uh, my testimony with uh, everyone that is watching this video. Yeah, my name is Faima. I used to be Muslim before but now i'm born again i'm a born again christian yeah i love the lord and jesus is the rock of my salvation Amen. i would like to share how i got saved and how uh, the lord jesus saved me mm -hmm. and how i crossed over uh, to this other side of christianity Amen. here my story comes mm -hmm. yeah. yeah faima is gonna mix languages she can speak swahili she can speak english we just want her to do as the Lord is going to lead her. So Faima, ukisikia kuongea Kiswahili, ukisikia kuongea Kizungu, we are also having audience that they don't know Swahili much. We ongea to the way the Lord is going to lead you. Karibu, take us through your story. Thank how you. did you, you've just given me a story on how you went to hell, how you went to heaven. Please take us through. The, the program is yours today. Ongea to kusikia. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, and I would like now to share my story, how I got saved. No one preached to me about Jesus, and no one told me about uh, Jesus or the kingdom of God. And no one told me about uh, that there is a, a, a kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I got just grace, yeah, to, to, to visit those places. Nilipata tu neema ya kuweza uh, ku, uh, ku, kuweza kuokolewa ku, na Mungu kwa kujidhihirisha ye mwenyewe kwangu. Yeah, uh, I would like to begin now my story how Jesus saved me. Yeah, he visited me the first time. Yeah, nilikuwa nimeoga, nimetoka I was in my bedroom. I wanted to dress myself. So I started feeling like uh, I I started feeling atmosphere is changing. Atmosphere in a change there is something that is not right. Uh, kumbe that time I started moving out of my body, but I have never, I don't have uh, such uh, experience. I have never experienced such a thing before. Mm. So I started, mm. I don't know how I can tell it or explain it. Mm. So at least I wanted to shout to someone at least that come and help me. Mm. So I couldn't shout. I started feeling my legs are not there. And I started feeling heavy in my body. I couldn't talk. I couldn't speak. Kumbe, I was moving out of my body. Nilitoka tu kwa mwili. Then I started watching my body. My house girl came. She started calling me, Mom, Mom. I could shout at her, telling her that here I am. She can't see me. I, I, I began shouting, what is going on? Nikajaribu kujishika, singe jishika. Nikijaribu kujishika mkono, sijishiki. But I can see this is me, and that is also me. Kumbe, that was me spirit and that uh, and there is again uh, me the flesh the body so i saw them uh, they wanted to eat supper aleni kujia she was done with the cooking that supper so she wanted me to uh, to to pray and at least we have that supper together so she called me mom mom i'm through come and serve us so i can i tell you i can i can see her i tell her that here i am but she can't See me so yeah my husband came and said leave her she's sleeping when she wakes up she will eat then they began eating so I watched them as they eat that supper and they can't see me you are in the house and, uh, and I was in the now house. The, the, you have left your body yes when you began feeling cold yeah the cold began coming up yeah and I felt like vomiting when I was about to move out of my body I felt a bad feeling like Vomiting. What so, are you thinking at that time? I wanted to scream because I, I don't know what is going on and I couldn't even scream. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, I wanted to scream because I've never experienced uh, such a feeling. Were you afraid? I was very afraid. I was sweating. I don't know. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my hands. I just feel cold. Nasikia tu baridi. Sasa nataka hata kuita mtu anisaidie but I can't even shout. I can't even speak. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, how I, I how I moved out of uh, the house I can't even tell. I don't know cuz I didn't use sikutumia mlango nilipata tu nimetoka kwa kwa nyumba. So, how long did you take in the house as a spirit? Like one hour. I yeah, I moved in bedroom to bedroom, from bedroom to kitchen, from kitchen to sitting room. From sitting room I I try to talk to my house girl. I try to shout to my husband they can't see me. Just they are just sitting as a normal wako tu wameka. They are just watching us. They are having their supper. And my husband said that she's sleeping. When she wakes up, she will come and join us. So after that, now I just don't know how I moved out of the house. Nilitoka tu kwa nyumba. And I just began a journey that I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, somebody took me. I don't know where that person is taking me. And that person doesn't want me to see his face. Because most of the time I wanted, who is this person? Who is he? I wanted to see him. But I couldn't see him. I don't know how I can explain, but sing him one also. Yeah, so we went to a very far, 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 far place that I can't even tell. What I saw in that place was a mountain and stones. And I just fo- started focusing up like this. Nikanza kuona stars and some small cloud. So from that cloud now, Nikanza kuongelesha. Somebody started talking to me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can't kuniongelesha why God loved human, why God loved us so much, why there is forgiveness, why there is hell, why there is uh, there is internal life of burning, why there is internal life of uh, of inheriting the kingdom of God. I was told so many things, so many things, a lot of things. Yeah. Then at the last time I was told now wake up Amuka tuende uone ya kuwa hiyo moto wa milele unaosikianga it exists so i started moving to i don't know nitaeleza aje kwa pahali sijawahi enda mhm tukaanza kuenda it is very far see i can't even tell you it is in direction of east west south or north i don't even know it is not even here on earth i can't even tell so i was taken to a place when I reached there, there was a pool of darkness, a cloud that is very dark. Imefunika tu yo eneo yote. So I, I saw something like a hand, yani na ikaondoa ile giza. Ikaondoa ile giza mbele yangu. So I started seeing fire. I saw a very big fire that has no end. It is that fire I saw, ilikuwa imechanganyika with all kind of colors blue black like oil I, I i can't even tell it is just like a anger yani hasira ya mungu ile imetulia na inangoja siku yake gadabu yani i can't tell i can't i can't even explain what i saw so i started feeling afraid uh, afraid i was very afraid kumbe soli ya mtu inaweza kuwa na hisia ya kuingiwa na hofu so I started fearing. I started crying. I started I was very afraid. I can't even tell that kind of feeling. I really felt bad seeing that environment and seeing that fire, the lack of fire that I can't tell. So that time there is a sound kuna sauti inaniongelesha through the now the cloud. Inaniambia tizama ya kuwa moto wa milele na milele iko. So hiyo sauti ikiongea hiyo moto ilikuwa inachafuka kama bahari yenye imechafuka inachafuka inalipuka hiyo sauti inapita hapo katikati so i was very afraid nilikuwa nalia i don't know what is this i've never experienced such a thing mimi sijui even before i was i was i was saved before i came to christianity I, I used to be Muslim, but they say there is nothing and that is hell. They have not explained to us or to me in, in, in details or uh, deeply how it, how it is. 
they just say you know if you disobey Allah if you disobey uh, what uh, uh, God wants you to do that they go, they say Allah you will not see Jannah you will not see the kingdom of God that is heaven they call it Jannah they say you will go to hell and that is, is nasty they say it is just a lake of fire but I just knew if you are not a good person, you don't want to swally, you don't want to read the Quran, you don't want to do what the religious tell you to do, or you don't want to live the kind of life that your religion live, you will just go to that hell that is nasty. They call it nasty. Now I'm just seeing it now openly. It was, I, I, I don't know. Nilikuwa na ogopa ata I don't know how I can tell. Then I was told when God saw that I was very afraid and nervous. Mungu akaona nilikuwa na uoga. He told me to turn around. Nilitupa network. Yani I was just then himself akanigeuza. Wakati alinigeuza sasa nianze kurudi hapa, I turned on my right hand because it is like a city that is burning full of fire and moshi vitu I turned again to see what I saw. I was very afraid. Then I was told now to come back here on earth. I don't know how I came. Nilileta, nikaletwa, nikaletwa, nikajipata tu nimerudi kwa mwili and then I woke up like this. I began just crying because I don't know how I can share this. Nani atanyelewa, sijui, I just began crying. So after crying, my husband wake up woke up and asked him, why are you crying? Have I wronged you? I told him, no. Uh, even him, I don't know how I can share with him what I saw. Then I said, okay, I just moved on. I said, maybe that is the lake of fire, that those people that will not live uh, 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 rightly according to the, to the will of God or according to the command of God, that is the place that they will be. So I just moved on with my life. After three days again, I just moved out of my body. This time around, I didn't waste time around the house. I just left my body and just, and I went. I didn't know anything that happened behind. So Nikaenda, because if that is hell, then where, where have, Binguni, heaven, Jana, that Jana, where is it? Ikowapi. Because now God has taken you and shown you hell. Yeah. Now you are also wandering by yourself yeah. where heaven is. Yeah. Then he came for you again. Yeah. Then I was taken to a place. Now this time around as I was going to that place, nilikuwa natembea kwa kichaka. It was not easy for me to reach in that mountain. Indo sasa nishike njia ya kuenda ku, maybe ya kuona that, you know, heaven that I asked. Iko wapi, kama basi bingu iko na iko wapi. Then, it was a very tough journey. Haikuwa raisi kufika kwa hiyo milima. The way I went just smoothly to visit him this time round. So, nilikuwa kwa bush, natembea muiba zinanishika, miti zinanishika nyele, vitu zinanirarua, nikijitoa hii, hii, ndio hii, vitu zinanishika, zinanishika, shika, yani hazirusu nipite, na shikuwa na muiba, miti, it is just forest, unatembea kwa forest. Then, nikaona nimefika kwa milima. Kwa hii milima, nikapandishwa juu. Sasa nikaanza kuteremuka. Nikiwa na teremuka, I saw a very narrow road. A very, very narrow road. That eni, u, niki kanyanga, si kanyangi, ivi, ivi, na, na kanyanga carefully, nikitembea. This other side, ni kichaka na mavitu zimemea. But njia ile nilikuwa nimeonyeshwa, ni nyembamba, ni njia ini. It's a very narrow road. Then nikapata, nikapata, nikapata. Sa ile naenda kumaliza kuteremuka kwa ile milima. Kitu ikaunduleo kwa macho yangu like ni kufunguliwa pasia. Then I saw city, unfinished city. Niliona inchi ya nijaisha. Ya, yeah, nainaendelea kujengwa. Nikafika paka ndani. Uh, the amazing thing, si kuona watu, si kuona hata mtu moja kwa yule, yule mji. 
nikatembea 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 nikaona nyumba kuna zingine ni za gorofa zingine tu zinakaa normal mansion but azijaisha hazina gate hazina mlango but imejengwa iko na roofing zingine azijaekwa uh, cover za roofing nikaona vitu mingi but na, na njia ni kama inawaka Eh, inawaka kama dhahabu nikatembea tu ninajionea hakuna watu hakuna mtu ni nchi yenye hijaisha kujengwa then nikaona 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 saa ile niliona ona hata sikufika hata katikati nikaambiwa nirudi kuna mtu ananiongelesha na simuoni akaniambia ni, na nikiambia ni, nirudi once akiongea tu mara moja arudi yangi mara moja tu akiniambia urudi uh, ni, ni, sasa nikianza kuchupa neto kujua zile vitu niliona na patanga nimegeuzwa na nimeanza kutolewa so nikatoka hivyo nikarudi hapa so sijui kuomba sijui nitaambia nani i don't i don't even have friends i just i just live my life yeah i can't even tell anyone nitaambia hata nani kenye naona hata nikiambia mtu nani ataniamini then nikaishi hivyo after four days nikiwa nasumbuka akili now I, there is lake of fire there is unfinished city now people where where are they watu wako wapi sasa watu hawako binguni hawako kwa moto wako wapi then nikawa najiuliza hiyo maswali like four days after four days nikakujua tena i just left my body silalange atinaota Mm-mm. Paka ikafika wakati sitakangi kukaa peke yangu nikiwa kwa nyumba. Cuz I can leave my body anytime and I'm afraid of that. Kenye inanifanya kianga ninaogopa. So, nikiona house girl anatoka and my husband maybe is not around, I just move out of the house. I just don't want to be left alone in the house. So, Ja, he, ja, he came again nikiwa tu nataka kulala sasa saa hii naenda kulala nataka kulala kila mtu wako karibu my husband is around we have taken supper we want to sleep i just again left my body nikajipata tu nje yeah and i i was again taken to a place that i can't tell it is very far iko mbali vile tu unaona mpendwa watu wanazidi kupoteza maisha wengine wakizaliwa hivyo hivyo mambo ya roho ni wacha niwaambie wapendwa it is hard to understand where those people that when you wana kufanga wanaenda ni ngumu kuelewa then i was taken to a place i saw a place that is full of dust that is like a desert there is no tree no no stones nothing absolutely hakuna kitu nikaona watu wengi wanaume kwa wanawake so many people na kila mtu ako na chain chain nyororo na imewekwa hapa padlock imefungwa na imewekwa padlock kwa mkono na kwa mguu na si ati wamekaa ame wamelala ama wamesimama kila mtu amechuchuma ile hali ya kukaa sikupiga magoti na sikusimama unachuchuma scoti ya yeah, you just wame squat wote na wamefungwa sasa na watembea nikiwaangalia nikatembea sasa nilipokuwa natembea I want to help but it is beyond me nikaanza kulia have you ever seen someone that is suffering you want to help but there is nothing you can do hakuna kenye naweza fanya hakuna kenye naweza saidia so nikulia so niki, nikilia nikipita na wao wananiangalia so napita wananiangalia mtu unataka kumsaidia anataka hata kuongeleshe awezi Unataka umongeleshe unashindwa uliwajua there is just one person that i saw mm-hmm. mwenye niliwahi jua nikiwa hapa duniani alikuwa hapo amekufa wakati alikufa nilimuona hapo i was shocked like is this person the person that i used to know na nikamwangalia vizuri hangeniongelesha the kind of pain in yakonayo and dust and that place is full of dust vumbi Vumbi yani hakuna hakujawahi pita hapo kitu kama maji hakujawahi yani sijui ni tangu kuumbo ya ma ni mchanga tena mchanga iliyokuwa na vumbi na kila mtu ana nyororo nikasema hawa sasa ni akina nani nikaambiwa ni watu wenye wanaongoja but si kuambiwa wanaongoja nini na nikanyamaziwa 
So nikawa na natembea nikulia, nikumwaga tu machozi nikitembea. Wakati nilianza kurudishwa nitoke sasa hapo mmoja akanita, akanita Faima, umekuja huko? Nikamwambia. Nikamwangalia because okay mimi na kuanga na huruma na emotions. Nilishindwa kumuongelesha. I just began crying. He told me when you will go back there on earth, go and preach about the kingdom, about the gospel and Jesus that saves so that our brothers and sisters that wako kwa dunia wasije hapa pale tuko na kanyamaza i just started crying nikageuzwa nikatolewa hapo nikarudi tena na nikarudi kwa mimi na nikifika immediately nikimaliza jani huwa naamka nikaamka nikaanza kulia nikasema Mungu hii ni nini nimeona this this i don't know what is this, this that you are showing me hata sina mtu nitaambia na hata sina mtu nitashare na yeye na hata nikishare hakuna mtu atanielewa na unamaanisha nini unaniongelesha aswa what is the all what is the meaning of all and this? you are a muslim i don't know anything about kuona nini nile nasikianga na hiyo ni mkienda madrasa usiwe mtoto mbaya Usiende, usikuwe mtu mbaya hata ukikuwa mkubwa ukuwe mtu mzuri ukiona kitu mbaya kwa njia yenye inadunga mwanadamu unaondoa as the Quran in a command you know usiwache watoto wanapigana you know those mm. kind of advice hiyo ndo kinye mimi na John now hii inakuja sasa ya kupelekwa 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 then nikajiuliza kama hawa watu wako pale mbaya hapo kama pale kama desert then when you are on uzima what wako wapi where are they i was taken again after three days it was the the road that took me into that place to see them was not easy till i reached a mountain hiyo mwiba na kichaka inanishika inanizuia ingine hata inanishika inapita inanishika nikijitoa ingine iko tayari kunishika so kutembea katika shida kungangana kwa misitu misitu nikatokea kwa mlima kupanda ile milima tena nikuteremka nikaona nikafunguliwa sijui ni nini inafanyangwa hivi ina, ina, inaondolewa unaona vitu zenye ziko ulimwengu ile ingine then nikaona i saw so many people even if some of the people think that easy vitu za Mungu mambo ya binguni ama mambo ya motoni ni uongo alafu wanaishi kwa ubaya wanaishi kwa kutoripent hmm? wanamkataa Yesu wanamkataa wanakataa neema they reject the grace of Jesus ya kuokoa wanaenda katika moto ama uharibifu still wale watakao kubali wale watakao itikia neema ya Yesu neema ya msalaba iwaokoe kuna uzima then i saw so many people that i can't count mm-hmm. nikaona watu wengi now this time around these people i'm seeing that will see the kingdom of god they are in white they are like they are covered by the cloud i can identify they have image of humans but i can't tell at who ni fulani na who ni fulani but i can see them there are so many there are so many that i can't even count i couldn't count them nikaona wako wengi singe wa hesabu na sijawaona mikono na miguu ama mwili but wako na umile ya mwanadamu like image of humans there are so many these people are singing and the kind of thing that they are singing the kind of song that they are singing i can't sing i don't know that language wanaimba lugha yenye mimi sijui na sijawahi sikia nikatamani sana niimbe sijui now kitu moja nilishika wanaimba wakisema haleluya wanaimba wakisema hosana wanaimba haleluya hii haleluya mimi sijawahi sikia mimi ninaisikilia hapa pale na nimekuja what is the meaning of hallelujah and hosanna they sing after singing they say hosanna nini they sing i can't tell you sijui hiyo lugha hata sasa siwezi nikaiongea so nikaona hawa watu ni wengi sana so i wanted to see that environment 
hiyo hiyo area ni nini iko cause nimetaka kushika na kujua nini iko hapa so what i saw there was a beautiful garden maua nzuri nzuri enye sijaiona smart in yellow in colors yellow red zingine ni white zingine i can't even purple i can't even tell ni maua zenye sijaziona na let me tell you even miti zina uhai hizi maua zina inama at once na zote zenye ziko kwa hiyo garden ziko kwa hiyo bustani enye imezunguka hawa watu yani imepandwa yani i don't know very beautiful garden that i had never seen ina inama at once na inainuka at once na ina inama pole pole kuinuka pia ni pole pole and then their work is to sing nikaona keyboard a very big keyboard a, a keyboard that is like i've never seen such a keyboard kubwa kubwa sana i can maybe na hizo ifananisha na building kitu kama building and it's a keyboard white keyboard na imezungukwa na maua nzuri nzuri but hakuna mtu kwa ako kwa hiyo keyboard iko peke yake na inajicheza na hiyo keyboard imezungukwa na utukufu like iko na miale yani ayo imezungukwa ina shine ukiangalia ina inakumulika uwezi hata iangalie ni kama kuangalia jua uwezi angalia you can't uwezi ukafesi sana na ukaiangalia juu ya ile Mungu aliumba ikiwa na hiyo utukufu. Hiyo keyboard niliona ilikuwa imezungukwa na hiyo utukufu. Inajicheza peke yake. Then hiyo ni mara sasa ya ine nili, nilitembelewa na Kristo. Nikamaliza kuonaona vitu ni, moyo wangu ukaburudika nikafurahi. Then I was told again. Nirudi. Ni wakati niliambiwa nirudi ndio nimeone sasa mokozi nilikata. Nikasema hapa sitoki wakati nilisema hapa sitoki ndio nilimuona mtu akaniambia my daughter immediately aliniangalia macho yake ikanikalia kama moto kama jua ikanidunga ndani ikani ikamulika ndani yangu si juu ikapita through macho yangu ikaingia ndani nikafeel bali dingine sijawahi so singe focus kumwangalia hivi immediately aliniangalia akajitokeza kwangu niliangalia chini kama nimeangalia chini hivi akaniambia my daughter utaenda wakati wako haujafika ukimaliza kazi ndio utapata hapa sehemu kubwa bali utakuwa so nikaanza kurudishwa na nikarudi nikarudi na nikarudi kwa mwili sasa nimeamka sijui nitaambia nani sijui hata nikiambia nani nani atanielewa na sijui hivi tu sijui Yesu ni nani Kristo ukristo ni nini kanisa ni nini i don't know i don't know anything about christianity so on a saturday nikasema no i would like to be born again kukua mkristo nimeambiwa ni kuwa mkristo nifanye aje ndio niokoke then on a sunday i just know no niamuka tu mapema nikajitayarisha nikaanza kutembea i was just willing mtu akuje njia yangu aniambie yesu anapokea yangu hivi i was ready niende wapi nikutane tu na yesu pale nitakutana tu mtu anisaidie kuokoka so nikaanza kutembea nilitembea maili ndefu sana Til nikajipata tu niko ndani ya kanisa. Nikajipata ndani ya church, niko tu how I entered I don't know. Nili, sijui vili, mimi nilijipata ndani ya church. Na nimejipata nimesimama mbele ya madhabahu saa yenye ni saa ya kuhubiri. Then nikaona pastor akanini akaniuliza, "Excuse me. How can I help you?" Nikamwambia, "I want to Jesus. I want to meet Jesus." I said I want to meet Jesus. <laughs> Where is he? Take me where he is. Um, then he said, "Father, nikasema nataka kuokoka. Yesu ako wapi? Nataka Yesu." Oh, you want to be born again? Nikasema ni kama hiyo ama okay kama ni hiyo. Cuz hata to be born again si kwa najua ndio kusema nini. Then akaniambia, "Okay, I will pray for you. 
be will are you ready are you willing to be born again because i just came strangely nilitokelezea tu nilitoka tu mahali nimeingia tu then he said okay you will repeat uh, this prayer after me the moment he began uh, leading me in that prayer of repenting and accepting jesus something came na ikanikalia kwa shoulder zangu something that has a lot of force so nikapigishwa magoti kama mimi hata sijataka na sijui so i confessed jesus kama nilipigishwa magoti na vitu zilikuja zikanikalia so immediately pastor alisema i will lead you and uh, you will speak, uh, you will, uh, repeat uh, this prayer after me and i was willing and he told me put your hands up i did like this then immediately i closed my eyes to repeat what he said kitu ilikuja ikanikale ikanifusukuma nikaanguka chini so nikapata ananiongoza ile sala kama nime nimeanguka chini so after him saying say lord jesus lord jesus i come to you i repent of my sins uh, uh, forgive me my sins and remove my name in the book of darkness right now my name in the book of life i accept you lord jesus i accept you in my heart as my lord and my savior from today on amen so immediately i said amen i found myself that i'm down because i do on marshals what can i amusha so i thought now being saved is so meeting jesus is that and that is it so i started going home because i knew i have done what i was told to do so asha told me Uh, don't go uh, pastor I want to speak to you then i left behind i was left behind then after uh, uh, after that uh, church service pastor came and uh, he took me to his office i can realize what made you to come who are you where did you come from nini likufanya ukuje because you just came strangely katikati ya ibada wakati neno ilikuwa inaendelea you just came straight to the pulpit i told him i don't know even how i came mimi nilijipata tu nimesimama mbele ya pulpit then now he said wa share with me nini likufanya uokoke because it is not easy for just someone to come straight to church straight to pulpit and say i want to be born again then i shared with him what i saw and what made me to come and uh, Now he saw me that I know nothing about Christianity. He wanted to give me Bible, but I don't know this even Bible. <laughs> yeah. Then I can you Lisa, do you love reading history books? Do you love uh, reading some books that is fashion design with kitabu kama hizo? Do you like reading? Yeah, he came me I I love reading history books. Then he gave me Bible. He told me which language do you prefer kiswahili or english i told him any can do he gave me the english one and he gave me bible i didn't know now this is bible that napatiwa i knew this just a history book this person that was he just want me to read it me nikaichukua and i just went home so he told me just read it like the way you read history book and that is the bible so nikaichukua so i opened I saw at the first page ni kaona imeandikwa Bible what and what si juu Kenya Tanzania after that kufungwa fungwa hivi ni kaona the first page Genesis ni kasoma at the beginning God created heaven and earth there was blah 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 I'm like what is this book this book is so interesting mimi naweza taka kuisoma sana then ni kasoma ni kasoma he took my number that pastor akanita akanipigia akaniambia are you reading the book that i gave you nikamwambia yeah, i'm reading it kuna nikamwambia yeah hii kitabu si kama zile zingine zenye nasomanga za history hii nasema ati ni Mungu alifanya sijui bla bla he created heaven and earth hii kitabu ni nini he told me just read it so nikawa tunasoma mimi nasoma na maliza naenda kwa chapter ingine nasoma na maliza hivyo hivyo then before nifike kwa Psalms akanita and i went to his office akaniambia now uh, my sister uh, this this book is called bible this is the word of god 
God will speak to you through his word and, the, and, and, and that is Bible. And you too, if you have some questions, there are some things you want to understand, you will know it or you will understand it through reading this word. And it is alive. Now him telling me this book is alive is like to me, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I can tell. I said, okay, it's a life. Okay, I should read it. Okay, Mungu anaongelea kupitia hii Bible. Okay, at if I have some questions, this word, this Bible is an answer to all the questions that I have. Okay, I will read it. Then I went home with that book. This time round, knowing this book is not a normal book of like just any other book. This now, I started even valuing, valuing it. Yeah, I started to. I started putting it in a good place because knowing now this is the word of God. Before, I didn't know I can just read it, that story book, and, and just leave it anywhere, somewhere in, in sitting room, bedroom, just somewhere. So by the time Nikakuja Kujua now, this is the word of God, I started valuing it and keeping my Bible at a clean and good place, knowing that this is a command from God. This is the word of God. This is God himself. So after Kusoma, 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 I joined uh, Nikataka Kanisani and I was told uh, now, I kwa budu ya hii wa Kristo, si kama ya wa Islamu, ati unamuka asubuhi, unanza na subu, mm. alafu unakuja duhuru, unakuja isha, una, mm. ya magrib, si kama hiyo. Hii, unamumbanga mungu so long as uko hai. It has no limit and it has no time. Iwe usiku, iwe uchano. You pray. You just pray without stopping. When you go at work, you pray. When you are in your car, you pray. When you are at home, you pray. When you want to sleep, you pray. When you wake up from sleeping, you don't again go back to sleep. You pray. Mm -hmm. Now pray, 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 pray. I don't know this thing of pray, pray. So I wanted to dig deeper and understand. Kwanini, at so long as I'm alive, I should be praying. Ile yetu iko na time. Na hiyo time ikifika haifai kupita. Yeah. Ikifika ni wakati hiyo ya subi, unamuka, unajitawadha na and you, una, unaswali. Ikifika ni dhuhur, unajitawadha, una, unaswali. Ikifika, so long as imefika ni time ya kuomba, ya, ku, yo, ya kuswali, unaswali. But hii sasa haina time specific time, ile ilikuwa na specific time. So, nikasema, wapi kitu mina izataka kujua zaidi. Then, we can join uh, praise, uh, uh, first of all, uh, choir. So, I just go on Sunday's church, sometimes wakikuwa na fellowship. Then, I began now learning, learning, learning kukua katika ukristo. Then, nikakua katika sasa ile uimbaji ya uh, choir, nikakua na marafiki wakanipokea vizuri knowing that i don't know many things about christianity and, and their belief so they are, they started teaching me they started showing me love they start, they started caring for me when they don't see me in church they call me they come to my place they ask me kwani unjakuja jana practice so we became friends now after us being friends nikaanza kujua vitu mingi katika imani ya after that, nika move kwa praise and worship. Nika kwa katika praise and worship. Kukaka hapo kidogo, wakati wengine wanaomba na thanks na dini, uki, ukisikia how they worship, it's different with mine. Yangu, iko very dry. Then they just flow. They speak in tongues. They speak some things that I don't know. They speak, they pray, they cry. Me, my eye, my, my eyes are very dry. <laughs> I don't feel anything. Yeah. I started experiencing, I'm like, I'm different from these people. When they pray, they just kneel down. They cry to God. They pray. And me, I'm dry. I just, Nashika to microphone, I'm like, Mungu asanti, mm. thank you God because I, I, I don't know many things beyond saying thank you God and watching others lying their life down 
laying their life down, praying, praying to God, crying. Someone that has suit and someone that has beauty has wear beautiful clothes and beautiful shoes. Ananguka, analia, analala kwa mavungi. Mimi ni misimama tu. Machongu mekauka. Sisi kiki tu. Then I wanted to know. I went to pastor. Nikamuliza. When others pray, wanasikianka siju yaje. Me, I feel nothing. Then he told me, do you know why you are different from them? They are baptized by the Holy Spirit. Me, you are not. I can remember now I want to take you through Mafundisho ya being baptized. When I when I will baptize you is now when you will become like them. You will be feeling Holy Spirit like them. Then I said, I'm willing, I'm ready. Then he told me, Go and prepare yourself for three weeks. You will be coming to class. From Monday to Friday, from Monday to Friday, from Monday to Friday. After that, 21 days, now you will know and have knowledge why, why you will be baptized. Because I was thirsty and I wanted to know why I'm different from others. I began my class on Monday. Nikamaliza that 21 days, that is three, three weeks. Nikamaliza yu mafundisho, then I was taken to a, a, a swimming pool. I was told to buy white clothes and uh, to be clean for being baptized now. I prepared myself and I went there. So they baptized me. Now wakati alinibati, walinibatiza, hiyo wakati ndiyo mdomo yangu ilifunguka, nikaongea lugha yenye sijawahi. Amen. Amen. Sasa nikaanza kukua na connection na Mungu na Holy Spirit. Nika feel sasa ameingia sasa ndani yangu. Amen. Yeah. So after receiving now after after being baptized nikapokea roho mtakatifu. Then after kupokea roho mtakatifu nikaanza kusoma Biblia. Now this time around si somi kama history book nikisoma at least I get revelation, I understand. Alafu nikaona this word is life vile niliambiwa baada ya kubatizwa. Mm. Then nikaendelea kusoma nikaendelea kusoma after that I wanted to know now nimekuwa mkristo tu vizuri nimejua how to worship how to live a christian life nikajua but now my problem is where did this christianity came from mm -hmm. how did, how did it begin ilianzaje itaishia wapi so I really wanted to know, nikataka kujua sana vile ilianza na vile imefikia watu kwa sasa. You know, hata kama nimepokea Yesu, the journey how he came, huh? vile alivaa mwili, vile alikuja kwetu, ili iyo neema ya msalaba ituokoe, si kujua haswa ukristo ilianza wapi. Na nikataka kujua, why other Christians are Catholic and others are KAG? Others are deliverance, others are a, 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 AIC, and others are seventh day. Wengine wanaomba Saturday, wengine ni Sunday. Lakini hao wa Sunday pia, wengine ni wahiyo dini, wengine ni wahiyo dini. So I wanted to know. Jumimi uislamu ili najua ni uislamu na mosque ni mosque. Uende wapi, mosque ni mosque. Uende Kenya, mosque ni mosque. Uende America, mosque ni mosque. But wa Kristo, ini dini hii, ile ni ile dini, ile sijui ni e, ke, sijui keji. So I wanted to know. So by the grace of God, I met a man that is a lecturer. So alikuwa natafuta wanafunzi wenye watajiunga na chua ya kusoma, chua ya kibibilia. Then nilipo pata opportunity ya kumit na huyo mtu, I told them, I'm willing. I want to know and understand many things about this Christian Christianity or this uh, many things about this faith. Then he told me, give me your uh, number, give me your full name, and I will register you. Are you ready? Yeah, but ukianza class, you will stop everything you are doing for you now to attend. Kwa hiyo, my foundation. I said I will stop everything. Nataka kwa foundation. Nataka kujua. So nikaanza mwaka wa kwanza nikafanya 
na Vision University nikafanya nikamaliza nikaelewa mambo mingi nikaelewa mpaka kumbe Mungu alianzana na Wakristo kitambo sana na Abraham na Waisraeli how they came out of Egypt and how God led them lead them, lead them many things i started now having understanding of many things about this christianity then after that i i, I told I, i told that my uh, lecturer i don't have money but i would like to continue at least then he, he told me i will pay for you half price you will pay half are you okay then i said yes then he paid for my school fees half and i paid half then nikaendelea na nikafanya diploma that is 2021 so after that now nikaelewa nikaelewa kabisa mambo ya Kristo uh, mambo ya kuokoka mambo ya kumshia Mungu sasa nikataka kukua na kiu na vile Mungu aliniambia ukimaliza kazi nafasi yako ndio itapatikana hapa so nikataka sasa nitumikie huu Mungu ni niwaambie watu ya kwamba ipo neema kama uko tayari kutubu na neema ya msalaba iko radhi kumpokea yoyote yule atakaye rudia atakaye kuwa tayari kutubu atakaye kuwa tayari kumpokea Kristo whosoever yoyote yule awe mweupe awe mweusi awe muislamu awe mu, mu, mu pagan, mm. awe ni mtu yoyote yule aliye tayari mm. na kusema ya kwamba mimi Yesu mm. ikiwa umekuja kuniokoa mm. niko tayari kutubu dhambi yangu mm. na nikupokee kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu mm. wacha niwaambie wapendwa hii mm. mambo ya wokovu na mambo ya uzima mm. tumeshalipiwa gharama mm. ni ile tu shetani hataki ufungue macho uone ukweli na ujue ukweli mm. ili siku moja usije ukapata hiyo uzima ambaye yeye akukinyume nacho you know he is against the enemy is against he is against your progress or your life mm. that one day maybe you will know Christ or you will repent your sin mm-hmm. and you will inherit the kingdom of God mm. that kingdom of God is already given to us freely bure imepeanwa kwetu bure mm-hmm. haina pesa yoyote haina gharama ililipiwa makosa yetu dhambi mm-hmm. zetu zote so faima yeah. for how long have you been born again hiyo siku ya kwanza ulikaa kwa nyumba ukasikia unatetemeka umetoka kwa roho mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni mwaka gani that was 208 208 yeah. 208 ndio ulitoka the first time yeah. ukaona ghadhabu ya Mungu kwa moto yeah. You know she was telling me aliona hiyo bahari ni kama bahari haina mwisho na ilikuwa imejaa ghadhabu za Mungu yeah. brothers and sisters yeah. there is life after death yeah. so Faima came to see me in the office to share her story with me she has been born again since 2008 she has walked with the lord she was baptized she told us how she was baptized and she spoke in tongues and she said pastor I just want to serve Jesus. I already saw the lock of fire. I was not a Christian. I knew nothing about it. The Lord took me there. I saw heaven, a city that is continuing to be built. I saw where the saints are. I saw the beauty of heaven and Jesus told me, I can only go to heaven when I've given my life to Jesus and when I have served him. And she said, Pastor, I am here. because i want people to help me so that i can buy instruments so that i can announce to people about what i saw because hell is real and heaven is real brothers and sisters what else can we do the only thing i could have done is to record this video leave it here on youtube so that you can watch and be a blessing to faima she told me when she was baptized her pastor gave her the name naomi and that is the name they know her now after graduating from a bible college she was called a pastor because now she she just went there to know about god but now god had orchestrated her to go there 
so that she can become a pastor. Faima is here. She wants to get instruments to announce to people there is life after death. How she left her body, she didn't even know how. She was not prepared, but her time had come for her to give her life to Jesus. There is somebody there who will hear this testimony and who will hear this story from her and give her life to Jesus. And the only thing we want to do is to support her. She came because she just wanted instruments and the Lord will take over from there. She needs a microphone, she needs speakers, she needs a keyboard. She wants to begin a ministry based on repentance and sensitizing people on eternal life. You can contact her. We want to buy for her those instruments. We are a family of God. You could be watching this video from Australia, from USA, from Kenya, from Uganda, from Nigeria, from Africa, Europe, America, South America, from wherever you could be watching. And our cry is only one. This message that she has, we want it to reach to thousands and thousands of people. And I know if God gives you a work, he will always show you where you will go to harvest those souls. We don't know when Jesus is coming back. We want to support this beautiful woman to just go there and serve the Lord. So Faima, I want you to give us your number. This is a Kenyan number. If you want to contact her and reach her, you will begin with plus five four. I'm going to leave the contact here at the comment section. You will be able to reach her, talk to her. If you can buy one speaker to her, the Lord bless you. If you can buy two microphones, the Lord bless you. If you can support her to begin a ministry somewhere, the Lord bless you. When she told me when she was praying, the Lord showed her where she's going to begin a church with a small tent where people can come and she speaks the gospel to them and we equip them for eternity. So Faima, kindly talk to these people your vision and give them your number. Yeah, thank you, my, my, my listener, even you that are watching me. May God bless you, in fact, for taking even your, uh, your time to, to watch uh, my testimony. God bless you. Yeah, uh, I believe you have, you've heard me clear. And I would like to tell you, if you are not born again, it is good that you, you, you give your life to Christ. Why? Mm. Because once you are born in this flesh, the, it will come a day that you will leave this flesh. Mm -hmm. If you are born in this flesh, you will die. Yeah. And That's that right. is the fact. Yes. If you are born, there is death. So long as now you are born in this flesh, in this body, it will come a day that you will leave your body. Please. If you are a sinner, if you know that you have not walked right with God, repent. He is God. He is a loving Father. He is God that is full of grace, full of mercy. He will forgive you. He is God of another chance. That is if you are willing to repent. I would like to tell you that I love you so much, but the God that created you, He loves you more than I do. So yeah, I'm born again. And thank you for hearing me. Yeah, give us your number. You. My number is a uh, uh, code Kenya. Code Kenya, ni? A particular number. We'll put it okay. there. Okay, zero seven two four uh, six six fourteen twelve. Mm -hmm. Zero seven two four six six fourteen twelve. That is my number. So thank you so much, guys, for watching and. Uh, if you want to reach her, please call her, talk to her, support her, support her ministry. Let us allow God to use her. God did not show her hell and show her heaven if God did not have a purpose for her to preach. So kindly let us support this woman who just came to see me and told me, I just want to preach. I just want to have these things. If I can be helped, I will be so grateful. And I brought her here. You've heard her story. Jesus is alive. He's saving people. He's delivering people. Brothers and sisters, there are people in hell today. At least they don't know how to come out. They are there waiting for the judgment to be thrown, to be thrown in the lake of fire. There are those ones that are in paradise in heaven, worshiping God, happy. And he saw that she saw that city that God is building. 
Remember what Jesus said, I want to make a house for you. And when you finish or when it is time, I will take you here. And that place is there. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you as you contact her and become a blessing to her ministry. Goodbye and God bless.